for Disneyland's first decade, Tomorrowland featured attractions in which science and technology created a miraculous future. Rocket to the Moon, which blasted guests into outer space. Hall of Chemistry, featuring the Chemitron, a device that showed young guests how chemists created materials for the future. Kaiser's Aluminum Hall of Fame, extolling the benefits of aluminum. And the House of the Future, designed by MIT, it explained how advanced plastics would improve suburban living. In contrast to these early attractions are those developed in the 1980s and 1990s in which something always goes wrong, in which science and technology inadvertently place people in danger. The transitional attraction Connecting the general acceptance of the 1950s to the skepticism of the 1980s is clearly Adventure Through Inner Space, sponsored by the Monsanto Chemical Company. Guests were miniaturized and placed inside a water molecule. Then they kept getting smaller, down into the world of the atom. The danger of shrinking, of scientific manipulation, is often present, but not always threatening. The post-show was a throwback to the 1950s, which presented the chemical achievements of the Monsanto company. Synthetic fabrics, fertilizers for crops, all kinds of consumer goods. First designed in the mid-1950s, Adventure Through Inner Space was slotted to be part of the Science Land expansion at the back of Tomorrowland. Science Land would also include attractions about space exploration and time travel. But eventually, Inner Space was developed on its own. On July 29, 1967, Inner Space premiered to the press as a centerpiece for the new Tomorrowland. The new Tomorrowland was a complete makeover of the area, which also included the People Mover and the Rocket Jet platform. Join me now as we journey back in time and experience highlights from inner space as it existed decades ago. For centuries, man had but his own two eyes to explore the wonders of his world. Then he invented the microscope, a mighty eye, and discovered the fantastic universe beyond the limits of his own meager sight. Now your adventure through inner space has begun. Through Monsanto's mighty microscope, you will travel into the incredible universe found within a tiny fragment of a snowflake. I am the first person to make this fabulous journey. Suspended in the timelessness of inner space are the thought waves of my first impressions. They will be our only source of contact once you have passed beyond the limits of normal magnification. I am passing beyond the magnification limits of even the most powerful microscope. These are snowflakes, and yet they seem to grow larger and larger. Or can I be shrinking, shrinking beyond the smallness of a tiny snowflake crystal? Indeed, I am becoming smaller and smaller. These tiny bits of snowflake crystal tower above me like an enormous wall of ice. Can I penetrate this gigantic prism? And yet this wall of ice only seems smooth and solid. From this tiny viewpoint, I can see that nothing is solid, no matter how it appears. And still I continue to shrink. 
What compelling force draws me into this mysterious darkness? Can this be the threshold of inner space? These fuzzy spheres must be the atoms that make up the molecule. Two hydrogen atoms bonded to a single oxygen atom. And I see it's the orbiting electrons that give the atom its fuzzy appearance. Electrons are dashing about me like so many fiery comets. Can I possibly survive? And there is the nucleus of the atom. Do I dare explore the vastness of its inner space? No, I dare not go on. I must return to the realm of the molecule before I go on shrinking forever. Oh, how strange. The molecules are so active now. They have become fluid, freed from their frozen state. That can only mean that the snowflake is melting. Melting. Yes, the snowflake has melted. But there is no cause for alarm. You are back on visual and returning to your normal size. This has been one of many exciting adventures through inner space in a never-ending search for new ways to rearrange molecules for the benefit of mankind. Now, in our display area, you will see modern miracles created by rearranging the molecules of not only water, but of air, coal, petroleum, and many other raw materials. This is Monsanto. In the post-show area, animated posters illustrate Monsanto's relationship with transportation, housing, and agriculture. But before we leave, there is one last thing to observe. This unusual global clock. It not only tells time throughout the world, but reveals Monsanto's international influence by pinpointing Monsanto's facilities worldwide. And then we are outside, where dusk settles over the new Tomorrowland, and eventually, night falls on inner space.